Hi, and welcome back to this series where we're building out the website for a brewery. If you haven't yet watched the other videos in this series, I strongly recommend that you do so you know how we got to where we are now. And in this one, we're going to be building out the intro section to the site. So the part just with the local brewery and the little text there with the background image. We're going to explore some fun little SaaS things, but nothing too complicated. Just some nice um, features that are in SaaS that you can use. It's going to be a pretty simple and pretty fast video, so let's jump right into it. Now I'm just going to, let's go back to my file structure here um, and I'm going to go into my layout and what I'm pretty much going to do, often I would have this for every page, but because I'm not having several pages, I'm having lots of different sections. The home page usually has some custom layout stuff. Um, in this case, I'm just going to do like each section will get its own file in my layout. So the first thing, underscore intro dot scss and don't forget to import it. So at import layout slash intro save that close my main for now close all these I haven't made a mix in yet I still think we'll have be we'll probably have one mix in for this I'm thinking um I don't really need my assets open so we can do dot intro in my dot intro I didn't do my nav we'll come back and do my nav um in my intro we're going to have my, let's just, I'm just trying to think, um, okay, we'll do background image URL dot dot images slash, uh, uh, just really important here when you do this, if it's doing like now, um, if I do back, it's going back, right? Cause we're inside of, we're inside of this. So I'm going back a step. I'm in my SCSS folder, but in reality, once this is compiled, I'm going out of here. So what did I call it even? Hero BG. Hero BG dot JPEG. Uh, background. Actually, show you a nice little trick you can do. You can nest inside of a uh, SAS. So background, and then I do like this, and then here I can do uh, size, uh, not size URL, uh, background image and then my usual URL and uh, background size cover even if it's like repeat no repeat um, so if I do all that and I hit save all of this is nested inside the background so if I come in I'll actually look at my main thing here when I scroll all the way down it's doing background image background size background repeat and all of that fun stuff so uh, a nice little trick with SAS that you can do to save some keystrokes along the way. Let's go see how this is all looking. We don't see anything. And of course, it's still not working because this should be images. There we go. Awesome. Um, obviously, my logo is kind of crazy. So let's just, for the moment, width of, I don't know, 250 pixels. Margin, zero, auto, and bottom, 2M. And my auto uh, margin left and right won't work, just display block. Cool, actually, I don't even know if I need that, because on here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a, uh, whoops, um, display grid. Because what I wanna do, um, I'm just going to do up here on here uh, margin of zero. Make my life a little easier. Oops, wrong place. Okay. Um, padding of like 10 viewport height zero. Okay. For my grid, what I'm going to do is grid auto flow so that's for my columns that's for my rows and if you're not too familiar with grid I do have several videos where I sort of explore it so you can check out my series on that um, auto flow and then I'm just trying to think for my width here what I want to do
What do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Auto flow and I'm gonna do like a min max, min max, min max, but they're all gonna meet. Well, they're not all different. The middle one will be different. Um, minimum will be one M, comma, one FR, I guess. Yep. And we'll do the same thing here one M, comma, one FR. And in my middle, we'll say like 400 pixels. I'm trying to think how wide my design gets. This is have a width with well my width is pretty narrow that I did on that. So we'll say 650. 650 pixels. So if I did that properly, uh, I clearly did not. I, I actually I might have still anyway. Um, that means that this has a width of between 450 and 650, and then my two sides will grow and shrink in accordance, but they will never get smaller than 1M um, as I'm growing and shrinking stuff. Um, so it's working actually really well. The only problem is obviously this is here now instead of being on top. Um, and it's because this is actually falling into the first r column here, and then the rest of it is in the middle column like I'd want it to. So I'm just gonna say uh, dot logo. So this is my logo that's inside my section intro and this logo will get a grid column 2 over 3 and my this doesn't really have to be in here intro text the same thing there we go super so that is good um, now I have like a little line that's right here. So I'm just going to do that as like a before element on here. So on my intro text, what I can do is nested inside of there ampersand uh, and then after. And what that gets compiled down to would be uh, taking this copy and pasting that there. So it's just a lot easier than having to write the whole thing out by nesting it like that and using the ampersand. Um, so content, it's a before, so I need some content. I need a display block height we'll do one pixel background can be white opacity can be like 0 0.3 uh, width we'll start with 100 pixels and play from there it's there so let's do position top uh, position absolute I mean which means this one Position relative, save, top zero, top one M, boom, where did it go? Oh, it's there, uh, top negative one M, my bad. Cool, um, margin 0.25 M auto. Oh, I have it as display absolute, uh, position absolute, so this won't do anything. <laughs> um, we can do the whole left 50%. Transform, translate, x, negative 50% trick. Cool, 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 that worked. And this, I can just give this a little margin, or we'll do give my logo a margin bottom. Margin bottom 1M. Hmm. Interesting. But we'll go up to 3. <laughs> and we'll stick with a 2.5, and we'll be happy with that. Cool. So I'm happy with that. That's going to grow and shrink and be nice and dandy. Super duper. Um, two things left. Let's just come back up to my section intro here. Text align center. And the color is going to be color brown light? Question mark. Yeah, I think that's what I did. 
or base maybe even. I think I made it a little darker. It's easy enough to read, I think. Cool, so that is looking nice and dandy. All right, so uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you've liked it. What we're gonna do in the next video is just keep this going. Um, my next one is actually gonna be, by the time you get to it, the navigation will be done. We won't even worry about that because it's really so basic and simple. If you really wanna check it out, you can always go over to the GitHub repo and check it out. Um, and the next video is really gonna be a focus on this one and then we're gonna wrap everything up. So thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. I love all the support I've been getting from you guys lately. It's been incredible, so thank you very much. And uh, a big thank you to my patrons who are supporting me financially, so you guys are absolutely amazing. If you'd be curious or want to know more about that, you can go and check out my patron. There's links to that in the description below and on the side there probably. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.